Hi, my name is Bruce Torrey, and I am an Episcopal priest and a speaker for Food for the Poor. Let me tell you a little bit about my work with Food for the Poor, which is one of the largest international charities in the United States. It serves most of the countries in the Caribbean and Latin America, as well as doing some work in South America. In extreme emergencies, Food for the Poor will also occasionally lend a hand in the United States. Our principal work ranges from immediate relief following a disaster through full development of sustainable communities, including homes, community centers, schools, and micro-enterprise opportunities. In addition, FFTP supports many orphanages, senior homes, clinics, and other important services. As a speaker, I travel each Sunday to a different parish in the United States raising awareness of the needs in developing countries and seeking to engage parishes and individuals to partner with us in serving the needs of the poorest of the poor. My work with Food for the Poor grew out of my own parish ministry. The last parish I served had a history of mission trips to countries in the Caribbean and Latin America. And during those years, Food for the Poor speakers began visiting our parish every few years. As I approached retirement from parish ministry, I talked with the organization about becoming a speaker, and the rest is history. Currently, I am in my ninth year with FFTP. One of the blessings of this ministry is occasionally visiting a country we serve. These trips always help ground me in the critically important work we do, giving the poorest of the poor the chance to live lives of dignity and hope. That hope becomes clear when you witness the desperate conditions people live in and also have the opportunity to experience the new life that becomes possible through the support of our donors. In Haiti a few years ago, I was privileged to be at the inauguration of a village built by Food for the Poor. This consisted of about 50 or 60 homes, a community center, and a large flock of chickens that served as the beginnings of sustainability for the people who lived there. What made this visit so striking was that we had just seen a broken down shack that served as a home for a suffering family. Typical of the conditions people live in, this structure, I wouldn't even dignify it by calling it a house, consisted of various materials such as tin, canvas, and old wood cobbled together to try and keep out the elements. In addition to soaking their few possessions, the dirt floor would turn into a pool of mud. The lack of windows for ventilation also meant that the air was always stale and smoky from cooking. Shortly after witnessing this, we were brought to celebrate the inauguration of a new village built by Food for the Poor. Gathering in the rec recently com completed community center, a number of village leaders spoke. But the highlight of the ceremony was when Carmel Capitain, a young woman in a black and red dress, got up to share her story. We could hear her passion as, in tears, she spoke in Creole through a Food for the Poor translator. She said, I used to live in the mud with my children. No home, exposed to the heat of the sun or the pouring rain. My family was always sick, and we felt humiliated because we were nothing. Then Food for the Poor came and built me a home. Now we are protected from the weather and healthy. No more hunger, no more humiliation. We're human again. And as she reached this point, she broke down and went back to her seat. It was a powerful reminder of how lives are transformed through the generosity of our donors and the work of our staff. I will never forget it. Being a speaker has been a profound privilege for me like the parable of the rich man and Lazarus in Luke 16, I have witnessed the poor at my doorstep. Unlike the rich man, I have had the blessing of being able to respond to the need that seems far away, but is really very close in this small world of ours. And it has been a blessing for me to be a catalyst for good people of faith all over our country who have responded when I have figuratively laid the poor at their doorstep. 
Rather than the story of the rich man and Lazarus, together we have had the chance to glimpse the parable of the kingdom in Matthew 25. Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food? Or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you? Or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. My prayer is that we will have the opportunity to continue in this good work together. It is as great a blessing to we who serve the poor as it is to the poor who allow us to work with them. We are God's children together. Thank you for listening, and may the divine grace continue to work through us for the good of all God's beloved children. This special presentation has been brought to you by Food for the Poor, united in God's work.